All right, let's take a look at the product itself and then we're gonna see some of the content. So there's two packages on this. There's a basic and there's a pro. Now, the big difference on it is that the pro has a lot more content in here. I mean, a lot of animations, a lot of uh, uh, people with background, cars and trees and grass and mountains. I mean, the other one does have the basic to start with and you can still use it, still usable, but you know, the big catch is that they added more animations, more motions, more, more movements, more things on, on the higher end version. So we're going to put this one and we're going to open it up and add as much as products as we can. So you can see the the uh, elaborate uh, of the setups that they that you can add through just by adding these kind of contents in there. So we're going to open a create an environment, a plain environment, and we're going to put a couple of people walking and we're going to start with the first with the tree. So uh, we're going to go, we're going to put a tree here. We're going to go to the tree section and I'm going to just show you the raw, how many, how many trees this system has. So they all have names. All right. And it, you can see it. There's hundreds of them. If you can see it and on here, use a larger thumbnail. All right. We're going to have larger thumbnail, but then increases the actual tabs in here. So we're going to decrease the thumbnail so we can see more. And uh, if you can see some of this stuff, uh, you can put further away um, You could add hundreds of them just keep adding them, you know by clicking them and there's another button here that will Actually do a massive placement so we could just do massive places right now We're set as one so we're gonna do this one and if we do this you uh, see the lineup of trees that it does it, it pretty much tells you exactly how many trees you want to do and expand and we could just do some like that simple like that now Besides trees, they have hundreds of different color trees too, you know, and if you notice, depending on the weather that you want to maybe um, present, yeah, you could say it's a fall weather, you know, take some fall cherry blossom trees, for example, you know, we're going to grab a cherry blossom tree here. All right, we're going to put a, like a, I think it's a cherry blossom, but we're going to grab a cherry blossom tree if it is or not. But this was a beautiful little tree right here. We're going to put it in place here. And if you notice, I still have that placement and they could overlap with the other ones, but we're just going to set up a couple things. And then all you have to do is hit the check mark and that's it. Now, beside, we're going to go back to single mode, of course. And this one right here, cluster. And then, of course, you have your plain placement, right? So there's a couple of things you can do. And, and like I said, various trees, various trees. I'm going to move like a little bit back. Uh, hundreds of different of uh, various trees that you could have. We're going to continue on to go to the and This one has three pages of all this, all these products that are in here. And like I said, every single item that we have in here has its own animation um and different sizes of course look at this big giant tree and this is a giant tree this is one of those african trees it looks like you know uh beautiful trees uh palm trees you know you got your palm nice beautiful california trees pine you know we're gonna palm trees we're gonna put one in here and let's put one in here and look at the size of it a over um a, it's it's larger than the other one it makes the other ones look a lot smaller too so um we got leafless trees you know we could put our leafless trees in here we'll put one right uh let me click on this one this dead tree almost pretty much dead tree you could represent uh of tree falls you know maybe if there's a house there you could ask the client this is the tree you know and then you could rotate even rotate the tree to fall down in in a, in a sense of way so by doing that you could just say you click on the actual tree in here and we see the rotation um, there's a couple things you can do. You just serve rotation on this part. So you could demo a tree falling like this, you know, basically tree falling on the floor. So we could even lay down on the ground and I know it's a little distance, but we'll get a little closer. And if you notice it interact a little bit with the ground, you could lift it up you're up because uh, the branches in the bottom, but it does have an animation. But unfortunately this was a dead tree. There is no animation on it. It's just pretty much bark. It does swave. If you have a uh, hundred mile winds, you'll see the tree actually moving. So either way, we're going to leave that one alone. We're going to go back to here. We we'll go back to our trees where we were and we have grasses. This is a very useful area. I mean, you, I'll be honest with you. It's very difficult sometimes to add the grass or you can manipulate the grass that's current we have, say here. So we can put little weeds and trees and little bushes, little area pop up areas. If you see, look at this green grass just popping up. Um, and they give you only one page on this one, but they have wild grass, they got large grass, I mean, different formats of grass, even, even flower grass, you know, with grass, you know. Um, this dead grass, kind of, oh, brown grass, I was there, you know, some, you know, putting some color in it. I mean, if you're, uh, uh, 
uh, um, an engineer, like, and you want to see, sir, and you want to have some maybe art experience, maybe mess around with something like this, you know, how the client would like, you know, it's just some of us don't have those art skills that others possess, but you can practice. And this is a great um, visualization of practicing, you know. So we're going to go ahead and move on and look at some of the products. So we added all this on the fly right now. And we're going to continue with more plants in here. Of course, you know, we want to put more color to some of the, uh, some, some, Color. Let's add some little bit more color. Various color places. All right. We're gonna add various plants everywhere. Look at the pollen. This is amazing. Look at this. Look at this. This will show you movement of pollen and other things in a beautiful environment. And this is a live uh, drop that I'm dropping right now. You can surround yourself with a couple of plants in here. And I just randomly put a circle. If you notice, um, and I'm gonna check on this. So you could grab a bunch of plants and randomly place them in areas that you do, that you normally wouldn't place. And I'm gonna put this placement area. So I want plants, the similar plants all over this area. And then I actually just randomly spread some in this area, which is really good, you know? So we're gonna put a little check here. And if you notice all those trees, I'm gonna set, set up in the background so you can see a nice, beautiful scenery. This is a, a, a lot of luscious little green trees that you put in there, but you could add different ones, of course. Uh, they have multiple ones that you can add, and this will create more like um, hiding the background environment and for distances and stuff like that. So we're going to continue on, and that's cluster of trees that you could add, cluster of trees, cluster of pine trees. This is uh, a lot of things you can do from here, and of course, change your whole environment how it looks in here. And we're also going to go into leaves. We could Let me get a little closer to leaves. Gonna zoom in here. We're gonna look it up, and uh, we're gonna move to the right a little bit so we don't have to clutter the whole thing. And we're gonna add some leaves in here. Let's go back to the leaves, and um, we're gonna add some tree leaves here, like on the floor. You know, kind of paint it up a little bit. Let's go find outdoors. We're gonna find outdoors. We're gonna go to outdoor areas. So we're gonna include a bench in here, and let's do a nice, beautiful bench in the middle of here. Uh, you know, a nice environment, and then we're gonna rotate this bench. And the way you can do it, you can do it from here, or you could actually rotate it on using these right here too. The, so we're gonna go in here. All you gotta do is hold the left button and move it around and just face it wherever you want. We're gonna face it this way. Um, so on the environments, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add lots of things in here. Continue on with the products, and they have four pages of lots of lots of different products just to demo on this stuff. Uh, sorted stuff. So sorted stuff. It could be fans, beds. You know, let's put a bed in the middle of this place right here. You know, you're waking up. This is like for allergy people that have allergies. This will be a nightmare. <laughs> Coca-Cola machines. And these are awesome. These, I'm going to drop one so I could just show you guys a little demo here. I'm going to put one right here in the middle of nowhere pretty much, right? And, and I just want to give you guys a little demo of, of all those products that actually have animation built in and not only that, understand the physical environment, you know. So let's go and talk about some of the stuff like that. So we're going to go into the area where we change the weather. And on this particular part, if you can notice that Coca-Cola machine out there in the background, look at it. I'm going to completely change everything dark. That's the only thing you're going to see at night. And the laptops, if you see the lighting, it automatically understands the environment and it automatically turns on the light when it's supposed to. All right, let's continue on. Let's go home and do some more and the randomly. So we go into vehicles here and then vehicles. I'm not going to drop any vehicles, but I'm going to drop one car here in the background. I'm going to go and randomly pick and they only have one selection of all these cars. So if you don't see your car in here, it's because they don't have the rights or they might not have the the, the permission to put a, a certain custom cars in here. So they do tend to have um, Japanese small little vehicles and stuff like that. So they have and you could animate the vehicles to move from one location to another. And of course, we're going to do sports cards in here. Look at this. Look at this sports car underneath my shadow. All this is a nightmare parking underneath a tree. All these leaves, bird crap, it's all going to fall there. So... SUVs, they have random SUVs that you can even put in there. So we're going to try to see if we, if you notice, it's very simple to drop because it understands that there is a conflict in here and it just drops it in there. So, um, vans, we're going to do a van way back there. You know, he's coming late to the show here. And then buses. Oh, look at this bus. Look at this. Look at, look at inside the bus. I just want you to guys see how interactive. And we're going to take a look at it. We're going to park the bus down there. We're going to go everything is step by step. A truck. You know what? Let's put a truck way out there. You know, why, why not? 
just to see how much animation and, and um, physical stuff we do. Of course, we're going to put the popo. We're going to put them here. All right. We go to construction trucks. These are great to actually physically uh, demonstrate some of the um, trucks uh, entrances and stuff like that. We're going to put a crane. And this these things are super detailed. And they also have their own animation. Boats. I don't have any water random features here, but we can add boats to a water element. Uh, we could do another demo some other time so you can see some of those great products that you can actually drop in there. And not only that, you can add, actually add physical fishes in there for swimming. Uh, balloons, we could add airplanes in the background flying, you know, and then these are super detailed if you notice. You know, every, and if you you could see some of the stuff that I normally wouldn't see in other products. I mean, it's really incredible stuff. Balloon, I'm just dropping it right here so you can see it, that there's actually physically somebody there. And it does animate from time to time. And they have different colors you can change. Um, trains, oh man, the trains. These are, I'm just bringing it up so you guys can see it. It actually shows you a physical size of an actual train compared to all these things. Um, they have the carts to go along with it. I'm not dropping any of this stuff in here because it's a little larger. So we're going to drop a motorcycle, but not just any motorcycle. We're going to actually add somebody there in the motorcycle. We're going to add them right here so you can see. Uh, physical motorcycle with a person in it, a little scooter, a little spree. We'll add them in there too. And they have hundreds of different vehicles in here and different products. And you can actually add your favorites in here. And, of course, when you add the favorites, you don't have to be searching for the stuff that you need. You can just always go to your favorites. So, And we're going to do... Um, People, this is something physical. Now, if you have water elements, you could put people swimming. You could put um, physical things. So we have somebody in the water, and this guy is getting some sun. We could put him in the floor here. We'll put a random guy walking anywhere. I'm just showing you the physics that we can do. And this guy has no shirt or no no service. There you go. We put him here. This guy's sitting down, and uh, we're going to sit him down right here. Kind of squeeze. And you notice, very simple. He drops on the floor here, but when you actually physically get in contact with something, put him there. Uh, we'll put another random guy sitting down. We're going to here. He doesn't know what he's doing. He's actually on this computer. So we're going to twist him around. And by twisting around, simple, pointing to the right place. And he has a mouse floating, of course. I don't have a table there, but we're going to go ahead and continue. And then physically, you could add men. Three pages of men, right? Three physical. And this guy is like watching this guy down here, just, just physically sitting down. This other guy is like lost. Uh, we're going to put him right here. And then we go to the women area, the women 3D, and we put a, a businesswoman here. Uh, we're going to put Grammy here. And Grammy's facing the wrong way, so we're going to put Grammy to just to look at us. And the way you do it, you can rotate it through here. Like I said, this is dropping it down. We're going to keep it physically there. But we're going to rotate it here. And we'll put it facing this way. You could animate to go one direction, of course. But we're not doing that today. Um, we could do another video on that product. And they have a, a girl, a lady in a bike here. She's going the wrong way. We're going to put it right here. And then we're going to go down to boys, little kids, you know. This guy, this guy right here. We'll sit him down right here. And then we're going to rotate him, too, and make sure he's facing the right way because he's, like, calling his mom, doesn't know where he's at. Mom, are you going to pick me up? There's a lot of weirdos here. Um, we're going to do a little kid walking in the middle of nowhere. Then little girls, we're going to put another little girl. She, she has a little balloon here. She just got it from the clown it. We're going to sit her down right here, right next to the little boy, but she's facing the wrong way, so we're going to rotate her. This kid is just like not even moving. It's just physical. That's all they are. People static. They're not moving. They're just there for show. Cats. We're going to put a dog in here. Walking the one direction. Here's another dog. We'll put a cat on top of the table. He's not supposed to be there. Um, birds. Oh, this is my favorite. Birds. We're going to put a, a, a bird. Just put a pigeon here. We're going to put a bird here. Walking around. Here's another one. Don't squeeze him. And look at the animation. They're eating. He's eating. We're going to put a bunch of them here, setting up a little cluster of them. We can put swans if we have water elements, horses, cows, the fishes, uh, all sorts of salmon. 
And then we got silhouettes, of course. These are only silhouettes if you don't want to show any faces or any physical stuff. Uh, animal silhouettes. And then they have silhouettes of people. And then, of course, 2D people. And these are, are, are pretty much uh, like a paper cut. And you go in there and there they have no backgrounds at all. And if you turn it around, it's going to be the same physical character every angle you turn. Uh, these are not 3D. There's no animation to them or anything like that. So... These are some of the great elements we have, and we're going to continue on. And, of course, we didn't go in physically into lights because they got hundreds of different lights, elements that you have. If you have a room you want to light up, this is for interior designing. It's perfect, you know. Uh, building designing, this is in the architectural lighting. This is perfect, too. Now, besides that, they like I said, they have a lot of different elements, and you could bring elements from other places like SketchUp. You could import them, set them up as a... As, as a physical item, but then you might have to go there and add the lighting, uh, add the animation and all that stuff because physically you cannot bring some of the stuff yet to Lumium. You have to recreate it or you have to go with their or internal um, um, applications to bring some of that. But there is going to be ways in the future and they're working um, to bring something like that. So let's take a look at some of the products that are in here and see some of the, the details that they have. If you notice this guy's details, we're going to go into it. He's not looking. He's, he doesn't want to be come on TV. Uh, he keeps rotating, if you notice. That's his, that's his animation, just rotation. Now, this lady's physically walking to an area. You could actually animate a point where you want her to keep continue to walk and come back and, uh, and repeat itself. Of course, this guy is like, you know, 24-7 hacker. You know, he's, in, he's working on this little, uh, mo little monitor here. We got physical animation of a little girl reading a book. This kid needs to read a book. <laughs> this guy doesn't know where to park. Um, we have, uh, the dog animation, which is not the greatest, but look, it, it just physically shows you, you know, it could be somebody walking in and they do have a walker. And then I put some random books in here and these are some thick books, right? And let's take a look at some of the static products that I did place first. Of course, we have the little kid animating here. We have a cat here and he does animate to show some physical animation on him, you know, him grooming himself. Um, we have a bottle of olive oil, a, a rice brand oil. That's what it is. And now let's go to physical uh, items that we did include earlier. Now this girl, she's looking out to the forest because there was a clown that gave her a red balloon. And she, I guess she wants another one. She seems very happy with this. So let's continue on with this guy on the bike. And this guy is really balanced. He doesn't fall. He's perfectly balanced. But like I said, you could add your animation for move from one place to another. Now let's... We dropped this couch earlier, and let's take a look at the material itself. Look at the material. It seems like there's actually elements in here that are, you know, a little bumpier, but it's actually a 2D physical um, uh, anime, a picture that was included in this 3D animation. It's just pretty much a, a, a mesh on it, you know. it's a That's what it is. It's a cover, and this one shows because of the lighting, it makes it look like really realistic, like a uh, actual pleather couch or leather couch, you know, really nice seat. Now we did import a, a sports car earlier. And if you notice, look at the physics on the tree compared with other stuff. And of course, we're moving the background as we move. The background moves to keep that lush green, green grass. And these need to be physically pushed a little bit back so you don't see any of that movement, of course. But I wanted to show you the interaction between the 3D elements and in, um, in the shadows in the car. So I dropped it underneath in here so you guys could see how it interacts in here. And we do have somebody in here. Uh, unfortunately, that person doesn't have a face right now because it's saving some of the animation. Um, some of the cars do have a lot of interior uh, design. And you'll see that in a bit right now. So we're going to move on. Some cars will spend a lot of time to do it. And these are 2D physical items in here. Let's continue on. You can see some of the people are driving. These are European people. This guy has no shirt, no service. He's walking along. Here's here's a really good um, um, demonstration on how much um, interactive the they, things they do. So this guy is pretty good details. You know, they have a level of physical, but if he's going to be in the background, he's not being noticeable. But look at the interior of the car. It's 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 really good elements that they put do in here. Um, it has all seats, even the seat belts on. You know, I, I like this physics on this. You know, well, actually, he doesn't have his, his seat belt on, <laughs> but really good details on it. On um, most of the cars, don't have anything. It's just pretty much shadows. But some of them that I guess are pretty much the showboat there, or they've been here for a while, do have some. And they, like I say, 
This is a woman police officer. Doesn't have any details inside, but this guy does. Random cars come with random details. It's weird. Now, the bus does have a lot of elements in there. So we're going to take a look at it. Uh, airport city center, right? And very detailed. Look at the driver. He's holding on to the steering wheel. This guy's hanging on. You know, and these are just elements that just dropped right now. And this little mom and his, and the mom and her daughter. You know, and some of the, the 3D models might repeat themselves. We have a, bu a bus here, a little van. And this man, old man, I don't think he should be driving. But here we have it, you know. He's, and there's nothing inside. We're going to continue on. This crane. The crane is a little detail on the actual crane. But um, the internal stuff is just basic for static, pretty much. You know, it's just for to demo some of the construction, maybe. This guy looks like he's going to drop the ball or something. Anyways, let's go further back. And as further as we got, I didn't know I physically put the truck way back here. But this truck right here is another element that we dropped earlier. And I want you guys to see some of the stuff that we, we could drop anytime into the field. And we could animate them. And we're going to do a little demo of how we can animate. But the truck is pretty detailed out external. But internal, there's nothing uh, physical that we could do. But other than that, this is a great application that you can use. And it has a lot of great... Um, items that you can add to it and you could get up and go so we're going to compare this with another application later down the line but i just wanted to make sure you guys like stuff like this if you guys want to make sure you want to know more about these um if you're interested in this kind of item let me know and we'll bring some more items like this